manure is considered as a byproduct that contains high level of nutrients for the soil and especially it is very good and helpful to farmers who are farming. Today we are all the way in Boedria in the eastern region and we caught up with Mr. Labi who is into cocoa, oil palm, poultry farm. So the manure you're going to see today is right from his farm. He has other crops in addition and he is testifying to the benefit of poultry money. So we're just going to have a little chat with him afterwards. Uh, an extension officer, an agri extension officer, who knows about the quantity, the measurement, and how to apply it will be coming to also tell me more about it. But today, let me just take the testament of somebody who has used this and has something to share about it. Mr. Labi, thanks for joining me. Thank how you. long have you been farming? Oh, for a long time, mm. at least 20 years. Okay. Mm. What and what do you cultivate? I have pan plantation. Mm -hmm cocoa plantation. Right. Sometimes I used to make maize, uh, plantain, okay. cassava and so on. And then poultry. And poultry. Hey. And poultry is my main business. <laughs> okay. Mm. Now before before you discovered the benefit of the mm. poultry manure, yeah. what were you using for your farm? Oh, I was using fertilizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. The normal fertilizer. The normal fertilizer. Okay. Now how long has it been since you were introduced to poultry manure? About five years now. Five years now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, when you take it to the farm, do you also just spread it around the trees and leave it? Yes. Okay. Yes. I clean the ground. I clean the you leaves. You clear the leaves yeah. around the plant. Then I apply the, the first manure. Lighter. The manure. Uh, the manure mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it raining or dry season? What time of the day do you do that? Oh, I do it in the dry season. Okay. So before it starts, it starts raining, uh -huh. then it is already applied. Oh, okay. Mm. It has already sink into the yes. soil. Yes. Okay. Now, whilst you are using the inorganic, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. fertilizer versus the poultry manure, have you realized or discovered any difference in your level of production and the healthiness of the plant? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This manure is very, very nice for me because before, when I was using the fertilizer, mm -hmm. Uh, the year I don't use the fertilizer, uh -huh. the food doesn't come. But this one, if I, I, I apply the, uh, this manure, uh -huh. sometimes I use it once in the year. Okay. And it gives me the, the fruit uh, the I like. The yield you yes, are expecting. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Giving very, very much. I, I, I'm expecting it. Okay. Mm. But there are others who also argue that the regular manure, mm -hmm. it doesn't speed up the growth of the plants as against the mm -hmm. regular fertilizer. How do you justify that? Do you buy into that argument? Is it true that that one works faster than this? Oh, it works faster, but uh, faster than it stops. Okay. Uh -huh. But this one uh -huh. is very, though not very, very slow, right. uh, but it's not as fast as that one. Okay. Uh -huh. But still, it works longer duration okay. than the fertilizer. Okay. Mm. All right. So what would you have to tell farmers who are yet to actually start using the poultry manual? The poultry manual, mm -hmm. you get it cheaper. And uh, it works better okay. than the fertilizer. Okay. So I prefer the poultry manual mm -hmm. than the fertilizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's dive a little bit. When you gather the poultry manual, mm -hmm. how do you keep it? And if I come to buy, if mm -hmm. I'm a farmer, mm -hmm. I come to buy from you, how do you advise I also keep before I transfer to my mm -hmm. farm? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is where some people don't know. Okay. Uh, if I take it right from the farm, uh -huh. you can feel some heat. Okay. So if you just apply it right from the farm uh -huh. uh, and your crops are younger, they will spoil. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to put it down uh -huh. for some days. Okay. You spread it okay. so that the heat gets out of it, then you apply it, then there will be no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you mean when you collect the poultry manure yes. from the poultry from farm, the poultry farm, you have to dry it dry all? It. Okay, yes. for the heat to go down. Very good. Before you can transfer to the farm Very good. and apply. Very good. Or when okay. you send it to the farm, uh -huh. you don't have to use it at once. Okay. You have to spread it for some days okay. before you can apply it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mr. Labi, who has been farming for over 20 years, he has a lot of crops from maize to oil palm to cocoa and also poultry farm. And he is testifying to the benefit of 
paltry manure. He says it works longer, even if it's slow. But it also, you know, guarantees the healthiness of what you're eating and also increases the production. Of course, it's very cheaper compared to the regular fertilizer. So if you're out there and you're complaining about fertilizer is expensive, we cannot buy. This is an alternative, very cheap. And you use it and get results. My name is Anjanam and this is the Ghanaian farmer. Please subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe. I need a subscription. And I need to share the link as well. And please don't forget, do not skip the ad when they are playing. So coming up next, it's a conversation with our Greek extension officer who works with Mr. Labi and many other farmers in this area to enlighten us more about the poultry manure the percentage or quantity to use in the farm and any other thing you want to know. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for seeing. If you just tuned in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Eminem and please subscribe to my channel and share the link. Our focus today is prioritizing the usage of poultry manure in our farming activities so that we can reduce the usage of you know the other chemicals that we use in planting so helping me to dive into this conversation is patience patience thanks for joining me mm -hmm. now what kind of farms are you permitted to use poultry manure any kind of farms both vegetables tree crops and any plantation at all you can apply it okay yes now am i allowed to mix it during my tillage or I can only start using it after I've transplanted? That is optional. Okay. But most of the time we advise uh, that we use it after transplanting or mm -hmm. uh, at any stage of uh, the life cycle of the tree or the, the crops you can apply it. Okay. Yes. Is it before rains or after rains? Oh, before rains. Okay. Yes. All right. Immediately, mm -hmm. with those irrigation, mm -hmm. you, you know there's always source of water. Mm -hmm. So the rain, for the rain fed, yeah. Immediately you realize that oh this is the season for rain. Just apply it. You just need some few rains. We just make it leach into the the soil okay. for uh, good growth. All right. Yeah. When I arrive in my farm with a poultry manure, do I dig hole around the tree and and apply it, or I can just apply it on top of the? Leaves? Yeah, we advise that uh -huh. you just give it a few five meters away from the crop. Okay. Because most of the time, some people, other farmers don't know the usage. So we, because of the, uh, you know, most of the time when you bring it f fresh, you're supposed to dry it so that it will reduce the heat content in the, in the manure. So when you, you, you bring it from the, the whatever you, you, you get it from, a few meters away, you just ring weeding, mm. ring application, or you can sprinkle in the farm. But it's not be, it shouldn't be close to the, the crop. Okay. That it will, they, because of the heat content, it will bend the crop and... Everything Talking dies. about sprinkling it, yeah. we found ourselves in a cocoa Oof, farm. Yeah. Do I sprinkle it on top of the, the leaves, the dry leaves? No, 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 no. You just clear. So most of the time, people prefer the, the ring application. Okay. So you just clear the, the dry leaves around it and just apply it and okay. you can cover with the leaves. Okay. Uh -huh, just to maintain a little moisture to mix it. When it rains, just leach okay. into it. Right. Yeah. So a while ago, before you joined me, I was talking to Mr. Labi yeah. and I was asking him the quantity <laughs> he, he can use in one or two acre. But he said, oh, he just normally, you know, spread it around. Yeah. Please help me. If I have just one acre, let's assume this cocoa is just one acre. Mm -hmm. How many 50 kg or 100 kg sacks am I advised to use? Yeah, with a 50 kg, you can use either three or four. Okay. Just apply it, not okay. too much of it. Right. Yeah, because it's already rich in all the nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Okay. Uh -huh. So you just apply just three or two, four bags. Right. Just apply it to one acre farm. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 it applies to all crops. Okay. Yeah, all crops. In, in yeah. one year, how many times can I use the manual in my farm? It, it depends how well you want your crops to, to behave. Okay. Yeah, at times, one time is okay, okay. or twice in the year. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, it, 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 uh, uh, the crops match with seasons, mm. season, it, every season and its activities. Okay. Uh -huh. So when the seasons are approaching, just so twice in a year mm. or once in a year is okay. okay, depending on the number of things we get. Right. Yes. Does, does the poultry money our regular farmers will say the other fertilizer works fast and get my crop to produce. How about this? If you are encouraging yeah, me to sign this. will work this. slowly. Uh -huh. But then it's, it's, it's good. Because we are trying to just reduce, minimize the uh, uh, inorganic uh, okay. fertilizer. This okay. is organic. Mm -hmm. So basically this is the poultry manure, the very dried one. So I was asking that 
uh, people were trying to find out. Yeah. The other father, they say, oh, it works faster it works and it gives fast. us a yield. How yes. about this too? But this is this mm -hmm. is organic. Okay. It doesn't work faster compared to the inorganic. Okay. But then this mm -hmm. doesn't make most of the vegetables or most of the fruit crops or most of everything rot. Okay. Because of its rich content. Right. You know, this the uh, inorganic fertilizer, okay. when you apply it to vegetables, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it doesn't preserve the food Wait, for a, a longer period. It, it, it works slowly, but mm -hmm. then it's, it's good. Okay. Yes. Does this have any form of disadvantage also, if not properly used? Yeah, the disadvantage, if you, you, you don't apply it rightly mm -hmm. at the right time, mm -hmm. it bends the, 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 the crops. Really? Yes, it bends the crops. And what, when you say right time, what are you saying? The right time is when you, you, you do your transplanting. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Transplanting, then you apply it. At times, when uh, uh, people are doing the normal planting, mm. they just apply it with the heat content. Mm. And at the end of the day, oh, they were just saying, any fertilizer with the crowd, mm -hmm. I'm warming. Mm. But then you didn't apply, apply it well okay. in the right quantity, right. in the right dosage, okay. and the time. Okay. Yes. Okay. For example, in the Hamatansi, you can't apply right. fertilizer by this time. Okay. Yeah, because there's no rain. Okay. It needs rain to work. Okay. 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 It needs rain to work mm. to leach into the soil mm. for all the, the MPK mm -hmm. to uh, apply very well to the crops. Okay. Because most of the lands in Ghana mm -hmm. are less in nitrogen. Okay. And this is also rich in nitrogen. Right. And it has all the MPK, so okay. there's no problem. I know uh, farmers were finding it so hard to buy into this, the, the, the yes. usage of this. Everybody how, want, how is the feedback now? No, the feedback is low. But now people are getting to know the use of Because, for example, those who apply this on cocoa and planting, mm -hmm. your planting can be there for a longer period without even rotting. Okay. It's still, you still get good taste. Right. But then, with the, compared to the either inorganic, when the planting, when you cook the planting, you realize that it's, it's a sort of watery. Yeah. Okay. So we you know every every crop has its natural taste. Okay. With the, it gives you the natural taste. Right. You understand? It gives okay. the natural taste. And now people are getting to understand it that okay, uh, this is low. That the price is low. Mm. I can just go for this at any poultry farm yeah. with just a little amount of yes. money. But compared to the, the, the in, inorganic, yes. where are you going? Now we don't even have fertilizer. Yeah, it's very expensive. And we are talking about climate smart agriculture. Mm -hmm. We are talking about how to preserve the soil, mm -hmm. how to have more goods in our homes right. being preserved world. Okay. You understand? Okay. If you use the MPK for tomatoes, tomatoes will be within three days, it's it will start rotting. rotting. But okay. with this, uh -huh. your, your, ten, your, your vegetable will still be fresh. Oh, okay. You understand? Right. So, yeah. How long can I? So now, now you see this is it's still hot. Yes, it's so you still hot. have to dry leave it, it leave it for some to dry okay. before you apply it. Okay. Yeah. How long can the poultry manure last for? It can last for several years. It, it's still it no, will go bad. it no go bad. No, 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 no. Okay. See, there's rain being okay. up, being on it. Okay. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So normally, when I buy it from the farm, like Mr. Labi's farm for it, and where should I keep it? You can keep it in the farm, or you can keep it in the, a, a, a storeroom. Okay. You can keep it uh, in a place that is that a sun can be applied to it, right. so that it will get dry okay. faster for you to apply. All right. Yes. Okay. So no, this the one thing about this: the heat content is high, so mm -hmm. you have to be very careful. Okay. You have to be very careful. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and mm -hmm. most of the time, the palm plantation people also use it a lot because oh, okay. it's helping. Okay. It's also helping. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, at this point. Please give us your number in case somebody, I might have skipped some questions, mm. in case any viewer has watched and wants further clarification on this, how can we reach you? Any number to share? Oh, okay. You know, poultry manure uh, also helps in soil amendment. Okay. So if you want large quantity, you can just call us on 0543-435294. Okay. So when yes. you call that number, Patients will help you get to Mr. Mm -hmm. Labi, Mr. Bonte, or any other farmer so, yeah. who is into poultry. He would get, see, the queue where they are around this It's thing. not easy. Even hey, he is so hey. easy. <laughs> what I so, get. Right. Yeah. So you have to book before March and mm -hmm. April so that you can have some to buy. My name is Enyunam and this is the Ghanaian Farmer. Please follow this channel closely. Subscribe and share the link. Every interview you watch, please, if you want further clarification, you can call us on 554 830451. If you have a farm and want us to visit your farm and promote your farm, you can call the same number. If you want consultation as a startup farmer, you can call the same number. 